Yo, 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 what's the deal, my people? What's going on? It's your man, Judah, Ben, Israel. We in a building. Yo, I got to talk about this real quick, real swift. I'm going to be in and out, you know what I mean, like a thief. So I'm scrolling through YouTube right now as I speak, and I'm looking for the way in. Um, I was looking for the way in when I got home this afternoon around like 2.30, 3 o'clock. I still didn't see no way in, but I seen um, I seen like some snippets, like some clips of Loma, and I seen like a clip of Devin hugging George Cambosa Senior. I'm like, okay, where is the fuck is a way in at? Can't find it. Can't find a way in. So I hop on to my homeboy Just Do's live. Shout out to my homie Just Do. You know, what I mean, I hopped on his live. A uh, second ago, and um, pretty much, uh, well, he already knew what was going on anyway. You know, what I mean, just do don't just do is out here. Just do hear everything. You know, what I mean, you can never find no news that just do ain't heard first. <laughs> That's my dog. But I was I was uh, writing in the chat. Um, I was informed that Devin missed weight twice today. Um, somebody interviewed Lomachenko while he was walking through the uh, hotel and um, they said did Devin make weight and Loma he was walking he turned his head back he kind of paused and he was like like the second or third time he made it and I'm like wow and I'm, it's, it's funny to me yo how everybody every fighter Tank versus Ryan Garcia Shakur versus uh, Chopsticks, uh, Roley versus uh, Mr. Miyagi, uh, Keyshawn Davis versus Yigit. All these, all these fighters had ceremonial weigh-ins. They had traditional, professional weigh-ins where fans can come and see. Devin versus Loma. I'm yet to see a weigh-in. But my homie just do inform me also that they have in the way in tonight at seven. So let me get this straight. You mean to tell me that if what I'm believing to see is true, that Devin missed weight twice. It was another video I seen where Devin when at the time when he was hugging George Camboso Sr., they him and Bill was on their way out the door. And they 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 rushed into the uh the car to head back to the hotel. I wonder if they went back to the hotel so fast to rehydrate this man. <clears throat> and you know what? It's it's kind of sad that we kind of we kind of allowed this to happen. Because a lot of us who are Devin Haney supporters, a lot of us, you know, want Devin Haney to stay at 135. But if your body, if you're growing and your body cannot maintain the weight class of 135, get the fuck out. Just move up. Stop trying to stop trying to please people. Who, for one, <laughs> you don't know. Two, people who will never have your back in real life. I don't know what Bill and Devin is trying to do as far as pleasing the fans. This is not it. Because Devin, Devin Haney, son, can get seriously hurt, weight draining himself the way he is. And this could be a huge problem. And it could be a heavy factor for the fight tomorrow night. You know what I mean? And it's it's just something I don't understand. I don't understand why um, they had no professional ceremonial weigh-in in the afternoon like they normally do. Ryan Garcia and Tank, they had their weigh-in, what, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock Eastern time. You know, what I mean, they they always seem they always have a weigh in early in the afternoon. 
with a crowd. You know what I mean? With witnesses. It's weird and strange as fuck that it was no way in recorded today. And then on top of that, when I seen Devin Haney hugging George Camboso Sr., look at his face. He wearing shades, but look at his facial structure. His facial structure looks skinny. He looks thin. And I don't know, son, Devin Haney, Devin Haney might have bit off a little bit more than he can chew. Him and Bill might have bitten off a little bit more than they can chew with this because, you know, they they talked all this. They talked all this talk, you know, saying they was going to stay at 135, you know, for the rest of the year. And it don't look like that. It, that don't look promising from what I'm seeing and what I'm hearing, but mostly off of what I'm seeing. Because, you know, we're supposed to believe half of what we see and none of what we hear. You feel me? So, right now, for what I'm seeing, I'm believing half of it. But what I've seen is too hard for me to believe just half of it. So, I'm going to say 75%. 75 to 80% of what I've seen is true regarding this Devin Haney weigh-in. Because when have we not seen a ceremonial weigh-in for a big fight? This is an undisputed matchup. You mean to tell me there's no weigh-in at its normal time slot for an undisputed fight on top rank? This ain't BLK Prime. No diss to BLK Prime or, you know, none of these up-and-coming boxing promotional companies. Shout out to Blue. I love Blue. Shout out to his family, his kids, everybody. Shout out to uh, Zab Judah. Zab Judah is actually the owner of BLK Prime. Shout out to Zab and them too. No disrespect or hate towards the up and coming boxing promotional companies. But for top rank to be one of the top three boxing promotional companies on the planet and you don't have a recorded weigh in in its normal time slot for a undisputed lightweight boxing match. It says a lot, y'all. And me, what I'm thinking now, Devin might be in trouble because Loma, I keep hearing Loma's interviews and when he's talking and all this, Loma seems mad confident. <laughs> Loma is confident as hell. I don't see no um, you know, he not talking sideways. He not talking out of he not talking out of out of his ass. You know, I mean, he he answering the questions a hundred percent on how he feel. And it's it's I don't see no weakness on Lomachenko's side. And that that don't mean he's gonna win, but the confidence. Com pe a, a lot of people don't understand when you have confidence, it takes you further than what you can imagine. Confidence is a game changer. And right now, Loma got all the confidence in the world. And a confident Lomachenko is dangerous. But we're going to see tomorrow night, y'all. I, I just wanted to make that clear. Um, it's mad, strange, and weird that there was no recorded ceremonial weigh-in for Devin Haney versus Lomachenko today. They, uh, I heard that they was going to do a later way in, but I mean, what are you doing? Are you doing that so you can give him time to make weight? And son, that's crazy. That's bananas. That's bananas. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's crazy. They say Loma, they say Devin Haney came in at 135.6, 134.6, but where is the video? Where's the video? And that's all I got, son. You know what I mean? I'm going to stab on out of here. Yo, pay attention to what's going on because it's all phony. It's all feisty. It's all shysty out here. Pay attention. <laughs>